All right, guys, Desmond Fishing, bringing you another catch and cook. The porgies, as you guys had saw in the last video in the marina, we kept eight. We're going to be making a porgy and striped bass fish soup. In Trinidad, we call it fish broth. Now, this striped bass, please, guys, don't give us no crap, no bullshit, okay? Because Matthew, over the summer, went camping, but in the fall, they went camping with their mom up in Croton, which is in uh, upstate New York, Croton on the Hudson, Croton Point Park. And over there, because it's north of the George Washington Bridge, the stripers, they got to be 18 inches and above to keep. Matthew didn't carry a camera because they was camping, but he did bring a fishing rod and he did manage to jig up a 24 inch striped bass. So we got the striped bass here, he's going to show you the bowl. We got the striped bass already cut up in season, it was in the freezer, and the porgies are underneath. These are the porgies from the marina. So this is all going to be going into the soup. The seasoning on here is pepper sauce, hot trailer pepper sauce, and again, um, Everglade seasoning. Now in the blender, I got onions, Rakao, in Trinidad we call it Chado Beni, Chandon Beni, uh, Bandanya. In America, you guys call it Culantro. Matthew's gonna show you the pot. I already got okra, cassava, tomatoes, and partially all blended up with garlic. And a Trinidadian seven pot pepper. Hot seven pot pepper. So I'm gonna blend everything, get it in the water. The okra and the cassava has got to boil out soft where we can eat it and then we add the fish to the last so as the soup progresses guys I'll keep bringing you in on it all right so back to you in a few all right guys so we are half hour into the cooking I got the okras I chopped up some tomatoes the cassava's under there what I usually do and I use fish chunks. I take the fish tail as a striper. And out of the eight porgies, I only put two of the porgy tails in there to flavor the stock right now. So that's boiling. All we gotta do is wait for the um, okra and the cassava to get soft enough. And then, as always, I showed you the last time, this is a Trinidad product, two of these, now these has salt and other seasoning, and then one of these, mashed up really, 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 really small, goes into the, in, in the end of the cooking, there's the fish again. Lulu, Princess, and Gibby. We love dogs as you can see. So this is cooking. That takes normally about 45 minutes for the whole total cook. Now, I'm going with the kids' preference. They only like the okras and the cassava. I normally buy the, uh, from the grocery over here, we get the Goya. Um, the mixed uh, provisions, already cleaned and cut up, like pumpkin, plantains it has uh, green bananas green plantains it has edos uh, dashin all those stuff already you know it's like a small bag for like four or five bucks i usually put all those in there but the kids they don't like it so today is just the cassava and the um okra and the tomatoes and i don't add no salt as you saw those seasoned packets they have um salt in them and then i seasoned with the um excuse me with the everglades so at the end, and two limes, two green limes, I squeezed into there because you want it, you know, you don't want it fresh, fishy, fishy. That's it coming along there. It's looking like this because I put a lot of green seasoning. I love a lot of green seasoning. Now this soup is good for when you have a cold, you have the flu. It'll pop it right, it'll bust it right out. That's why we make this in the cold weather, like in the winter, not in the summer. When all the fish comes off of the bone, I throw the bone away. And in the last five minutes of this, then I add the, the porgies and the striper from there. 
let it cook for another five minutes and that's it it's done but I still got another like 15 20 minutes maybe it all depends on how soft the cassava and the okra is because these are the frozen okra I don't use the uh, fresh ones like store-bought ones because they take too long to cook the frozen ones they cook up quicker so fish soup in Trinidad we call it a fish broth fish broth b-r-o-f-f -F. wish you guys could smell this right now it smells so freaking good and along with this I forgot to mention to you guys happy new year best of luck in the 2020 season with your fishing your hunting whatever you decide to do um, as you may have noticed already the channel is, our, is now Desmond fishing reefing when I'm doing fishing and catching videos it's gonna be Desmond fishing when I'm doing my reefing videos it's gonna be Desmond reefing now ah, I'll leave that for another video I'm gonna start from tomorrow getting uh, I'm gonna do a little series of the boat motor being fixed uh, rebuilt I got all the stuff all the parts it's in the mechanic shop with the mechanic right now tomorrow I'm gonna go in I'm gonna make a video a short video of the motor being it's already down taken down scrapped whatnot so I'm gonna do a five to you know eight minute video and that'll be part one and I'm gonna keep doing it like that until the motors up and running and such and such all right guys I'll get back to you when it's almost finished all right guys it's almost done I'm adding the fish in one piece at a time because the water from the seasoning and whatnot you don't want that in the pot it's gonna be nasty In case you're wondering why it's such a big pot, oh, let Matthew explain to you why. Got big this thing will finish before the night's done. And that too. That's all the stripers. Now I'm doing the porgies. Now, with all the fish added in, it's gonna take at least five minutes, and it's done. Because remember, when you turn the stove off. It's hot, so it's going to keep on cooking until it cools down. Monster for you. Now we, we are big into the soup, so when we make soups, chicken soup, fish soup, vegetable soup, we make a lot. See, so this here, you don't want that in the pot because it's going to be nasty. Take my time. I'm going to give it a turn. Now before you add the fish, well my fish already had salt in the Everglades. So before I tasted the salt, everything, before I added the fish to accommodate for the, you know, it's basically on your discretion. So always taste your salt before you add the fish. After you add your fish, taste your salt again. If you need salt, you put, if you don't. And we are like I said, we put two whole lines because we like we love a lot of lime in it. That's perfect. Lime is perfect. Salt is perfect. Now remember those porgies have been marinating in our seasoning in the freezer since November. The stripers, Matthew them caught that when camping in uh, 
I believe August or September, something like that. Something like that. September. Yeah, September. September. So as soon as they came home, I seized, cleaned it up, seasoned it up, and put it in the fridge. I left it in the fridge for a couple of days to marinate the sauce and everything good. Then I put it in the Take freezer. Up this thing so the Sorry about that, guys. I forgot I was soaking the, um, the dish. That's the car. But yeah, so. All right, guys, I'll see you back in five minutes. All right, guys, fish broth, fish soup, fish tea, whatever you want to call it, finished. I'm dishing off for Matthew. Got all the noodles. Like I said before, you're going to see us taking on a lot. We eat a lot of soup. I'm gonna put his down here and he's gonna give you a taste test so we could end the video because we are starving. Now remember he's 14 years old, he's a teen, he's not a kid. <laughs> Yo, I got four more days or two more days. Wow. Give your honest opinion. It was good. Um, I don't know what to say, I'm not a food man, but it's good. How was your fish? Nice. <coughs> Alright guys. Wait, is this porgy or bad? Porgy and bass. One piece bass, one piece porgy. It's a porgy. That's a huh? Chill out. Alright guys. So until the next video. You gotta take a taste. Desmond? Yeah, take a oh. taste. He insists. Oh, hell yeah. I always say that for my cooking, but no, that's good. Hey, it's fire, guys. You can see I'm sweating. The pepper is freaking awesome. All right, guys. So until next video, Desmond, fishing. Peace. Peace, guys.